This is James Holder for Eiffel TV in association with Macklin's Jim Marbella. With me, I've got the head of boxing for Sky Sports, Mr. Adam Smith. Welcome to Washington, sir. Thank you, James. It's nice to be back. I used to live here, so uh, I did, yes. Okay. In uh, 1993, 1994, I worked at CNN uh, and absolutely loved it. It's a fabulous city. Um, it was a great place to live. Um, and I haven't really been, I've been back once, I think, since. So uh, only for a couple of days this time, but it's nice to return. What's changed since you've been back to Washington if you like was it this sort of this sort of touristy and this sort of Washington was a great I mean, listen I, I live in London as you know and Washington's probably for me was the most London like American city uh, my sister lives in New York got a lot of ties to America but Washington is just there's some beautiful parts to it there's a lot of history um, and uh, and there's great people that are here you know you've got a lot of obviously the politicians accountants lawyers there's a lot of different sort of trades different type obviously the tv's big it was great for working at cnn uh in the news building there in their political office which obviously is very very big at the moment <laughs> with the whole uh, trump clinton stuff um so I, I don't know i haven't been around it enough this time but uh I, i'm told it's changed a lot um but it didn't have to change much because it was, fa it was fantastic back then we're in washington for apparently pbc liked to bring events to different states. Yeah. So there's no general relationship from the yeah. fighters with Washington per se, but PBC have chose Washington, so we are here, so to speak. Well, look what James DeGale's done. You know, he went to Boston, no real link, to Quebec City, no real link. Obviously, Lucian Butte's people, but, you know, he's gone around the world, and I think that's uh, an old-fashioned way of doing it. I think I, I admire James for doing that. You know, he's obviously the first man to win an Olympic gold for Britain to become a world champion. And he did it the hard way. He did it against a very good American fighter in Boston. Um, and sometimes I don't think he gets the credit uh, that maybe he deserves, but he switched off a little back in the Durrell fight. He could have been, uh, you know, a, a, a knockout win, which would have maybe resonated a bit more. Uh, he drifted a bit in that. And against Butte, it was a great fight, but it was on the same night as Klitschko Fury. And I think again, it went under the radar a bit. He needs a big performance here this weekend uh, to, to cement his position as the leading super middleweight in the world, because I believe he is, uh, Badu Jack would argue, but you know we don't know enough about Badu Jack yet. He had the win over Anthony Durrell and George Groves, but how good is he? We might learn more against Butte uh, on Saturday night, but I'd like to see that unification fight, uh, DeGale and Jack, but I'm a, I'm a big uh, admirer of James DeGale and what he's done. On that note, hopefully we get the unification clash if they both come through as expected, because it would be quite anticlimactic for us if Butte wins having watched DeGaulle take him apart in Quebec. And to be honest, I thought he boxed out of his skin that night, Butte, to be honest. If the same Butte turns up to fight Badu Jack, it should be an interesting fight. A very interesting fight. You know, I think Lucien Butte five or six years ago would have beaten Badu Jack. I think timing's everything in this sport. And I think that Badu Jack's on a bit of a roll. He's got the momentum of May with the promotions. Uh, he's here, he's in America. And I think Lucien Butte just may be um, you know, on the on, on the wrong end now at the uh, at, at the age of 36. So I fancy Jack, but you never know. Uh, it's, a, it's an intriguing one. I think both will come through, Degal and Jack, and uh, let's get that unification on. It's what they both deserve. Mr. Adam Smith, lastly but not least, when will the ring walk be for James Degal, and what time will that transcend back to UK viewers? Eddie, what time is the ring walk? 20, uh, 02, 30? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure, actually, either. 2.30, I think. 2.30? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I do, it's on my phone, it's on my emails. I will get confirmation Andy, on that. Andy, when's the ring walk? Jeff? 9.30, I think so. 2.30? We think 2.30, but... Seeing as most of the British media here can't work it out. <laughs> There's Katie. Two thirty. Yeah. I think it's three o'clock. I think it's three oh five. Okay. I, th I, I think it, I think about five past three he'll be walking. Okay. So I'm glad we all know that. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Okay. On that note, gentlemen, <laughs> thank you very much for your time. Enjoy Washington, and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>